Okay, so first we're going to discuss the Weber's test. This is done by placing the tuning fork in the middle of the patient's forehead and in a person with no hearing loss, they should bilaterally feel the vibrations localizing to both ears exactly the same. Now, let's say for argument's sake, I'm your patient and I've presented to your general practice complaining of problems hearing in my right ear. So this is my affected ear. When you do the Weber's test, if I tell you the vibrations are localizing to my affected ear, that means I am experiencing conductive hearing loss. Now, if when you do the Weber's test, I tell you that the vibrations are localizing to my unaffected ear, that means I am experiencing sensoneural hearing loss. So now let's discuss Rinne's or Rene's test. This is done by placing the tuning fork on the bony prominence behind the ear called the mastoid and patients should feel the vibrations for a certain amount of time and then stop. Once they have stopped, when you move the tuning fork one centimetre away from the ear canal, they should still be able to hear some sort of frequency or vibrations. If I am your patient and I have told you that I cannot hear anything once you've removed it from my bone towards my ear canal, this means I am experiencing conductive hearing loss. So I hope this video has helped. If you're still feeling a little bit confused, don't uh, be shy to message me and I can try to explain it to you further.